Welcome. This video is going to bring you from the Moodle login homepage for College Unbound into the course uh, Moodle in Online Learning 101 and just give you a little bit of sense of what you're seeing and, and where things are. So when you come in or come to this page, um, you're not going to be able to do much. And if you try to click on any of these links, it's going to send you to a login page. So when you come here, you just want to come up here to the right corner and select login. When you get to this page, you may be tempted to fill in your information here. And what I would say is you actually don't want to do that. Ignore this area right here and come in here where it says to log in using your Google, log in on your Google account. Because College Unbound's email is through uh, Google, so are our accounts that are linked to Moodle. So you'll want to select on Google and then it will either have you log in if you haven't logged in yet or it will ask you if you have logged in before it will look for your Google your your college unbound account so in this case this browser already knows I've logged in under my college unbound, unbound account but if it didn't then it would have your traditional uh, Google login where you would want to put in your college unbound email address so I select it I OK the password so you'll land here and you may not have a lot of things going on here and that's entirely normal. Um, what you will ultimately end up starting to see is under course overview, all the courses that you are enrolled in. You can also go over to my courses and here too will show you what courses you are enrolled in. Uh, what's worth noting is if you're on the dashboard, you can always play around and turn on edit mode and actually move things around, which is pretty cool. You can decide, actually, I want to have my courses up at the top and drag them up to the top. So that way, I when I come into my dashboard, the first thing I see is my courses. Um, so just so you know, that's something you can actually play around with on this home page is you can customize it to your needs. Anyways, once I'm in this area, I can go into the course Moodle and Online Learning 101. And once I'm here, this is for me to kind of work my way through. So I have this little bit of introduction here that you can read and get a sense of what's going on. And then what you're really doing is if you look along the left hand side, you're just making your way through these different pieces. So I can go to the course Q&A and I can just find out what this is all about and find out if there's any questions that people have asked. I can go to the program overview and I can kind of get a full sense of what this, project, what this uh, program is about. And notice that when I went to both course Q&A and program overview, these little circles were empty and now they're filled. They're, green, they're filled with the color green. Uh, this means I've completed these. And that's one of the nice things we see within Moodle is as you make your way through, uh, if the instructor is using the completion tasks, it allows you to keep track of where you have and haven't been. So largely what you would be doing is just coming in and slowly making your way through these different pieces, learning a bit about the course, and then jumping into the modules. And each module will have a learning guide that will have a mixture of text and video for you to watch and read. It will probably have a couple different resources that will be relevant to what's in the learning guide. And then there'll be a weekly challenge. The weekly challenge is really there just to you know help you firm up some of what you've learned in this module and also for completion of the course as a whole you do have to complete all of the module challenges and when you complete there's one for each module so there's one for module one two three and four when you complete them a fifth activity will show up um, it will show up in this area here and that will be uh, a final quiz to just kind of assess what you have learned in this pro in this program. None of this is going to be particularly taxing. There's no there's no attempts to like aha gotcha or anything like that. It's it's largely here to support your learning and help you get best prepared for using Moodle for your classes here at CU. So I hope this overview kind of helps get you situated, know what to expect as you come in and make sense of the space. And I look forward to seeing you in the course. Thank you so much.